It's 9.55 a.m. We've got a burrito. Last night I was editing um, a video and my solid state drive on my computer was full. My solid state drive is what the my editing software runs off of. Well, it wasn't processing because it was full. So I was trying to clear up space and it just would nothing I cleared up would give it enough space. I only had like five gigabytes left and it wouldn't process. So I ended up moving all of the Filmora files over to the hard drive. And when I did that, it actually got rid of all the projects from the video I had been working on. So it completely messed up the whole thing. I was almost done with the video and I have to completely restart. And if you've, if you've never edited a video before, um, it's a lot of work. It's not an easy job. Video editing is a skill. It's not easy. Um, it's one of those things that like you always just get better as you go on. You, it's, it, it's, it's just... I hate myself. That whole thing didn't have audio because I forgot to turn the mic on. See, that's the cool thing about the other mic is I, I don't have to turn the mic on. I've been editing this thing for hours, so I don't know what today's video is going to look like, but it's going to not be that much stuff. I can, however, show you the update on the Jeep because I have nothing better to do and that's the only thing that's going on and my hair is so dirty and... So the Jeep has not had a single problem starting since I plugged in the PCM. The only thing that changed... The speedometer isn't working now. I thought it had something to do with the PCM at first, so I was trying to figure it out, but after looking it over, everything else works. The tachometer works, all the gauges work except for the oil gauge which um, already had a problem before all this. The speedometer is the only one that doesn't work. The Cherokee's got some work done to it too. Preston actually did a really good job. He changed the motor mounts on both. I had to help him a little but he got it for the most part. So I told him to put the screw in his pocket and I guess he did but he still lost it. So he only has one so we need to go get two more screws otherwise we're going to you know, suck up dirt or something dumb. I still have a lot of stuff I need to do to the Jeep. I need to get this door pin in. That needs replaced really soon. So all I need to do is just electric wrap all this mess up. Everything should be good as far as that goes. But apparently I have two projects now. Cause now, on top of having to fix that, I, I apparently need to figure out my computer situation. I don't, I don't know what's going on with the whole solid state drive, hard drive thing. My, I'm used to just having a hard drive. I didn't even know a solid state drive was a thing until like a month ago. So with my luck, this thing would like suddenly stop working for no apparent reason. Uh, literally, that's probably what's gonna happen. But I'm gonna drive it around the block and see how it feels. Get that screw you lost, Preston. I found it though. So You're gonna need it. Way. You're gonna need it to, to drive your Jeep. I've had far worse sippy cup moments, so I can't be too mad. Oh, you got it? Sweet, now I have one more to find. Okay, that was really weird. I turned the key over, like I took it out, flipped it the other way, stuck it in and cranked it and it immediately started. So hopefully that that was just a weird random issue and it will never happen again. Never, ever, ever. <laughs> Having a standard transmission means I actually have to use two hands to drive. Um, so I wasn't able to like film the actual driving and the sun's right in my face and I don't have my glasses, but so I'm, I'm gonna look a little Asian right now or I'm just gonna close my eyes. It feels a little off, but it doesn't feel like it's the engine. It feels like everything else is just making it feel weird. I think it's a little different with this new PCM. That's my theory, but I don't think it, it's like it doesn't work. It just works a little differently. I can't really put my finger on it, but that, that's the best I can describe. Maybe somebody with a little more experience can explain that better, because, or maybe I'm just saying that, I have no idea. I can definitely hear the harmonic balancer going out. That's, that's why I have a new one. So I'm gonna put it back here in the backyard. So in case, you know, it turns out that terrible starting issue happens for some unknown reason, I can, you know, figure it out. Uh -huh. the, guy, the, the Jeep feels okay. Except for that temporary starting issue that will never show back up, right Kai? Never again. We have to watch the next episode of The Clone Wars either like now or before dinner. 
it's mandatory. It's very important. So our uh, our family actually makes homemade pizza like every weekend. It's amazing. I mean, usually it's amazing. Sometimes it's terrible. What's up with the? Beat you! Don't disrespect the pistas. Disrespect. Anyway, um, the next episode of the Clone Wars came out and it looks so good. I accidentally spoiled like 30 seconds for myself because I was scrolling through TikTok. Execute order 66. <laughs> we need to watch it. It, it. The last two episodes have been amazing. Ahsoka fighting Darth Maul was just like phenomenal. That whole thing. Just Ahsoka in general is just an amazing character. Um, the Clone Wars, the new season seven, it's amazing. If you haven't watched it yet, you need to watch it. It's the one thing Disney has done right since they bought Star Wars. It's amazing. Go watch that.